welcome to Wadko Academy and uh, my name is uh, Waramai. In this video we are going to look at uh, Hooke's uh, law. So Hooke's law is a simple law that deals with uh, the extension of an object versus also the force of that object. So if you are new to this channel please make sure that you do subscribe you support us by subscribing to this channel and also you can find us on our Facebook as Wadko Academy as well as on YouTube Radical Karen, and we are also on TikTok as Radical Karen. So let's now dive into that. Okay. So now we know we are saying that a spring is stretched 10 millimeters by a weight of 2 Newton. Calculate the force constant, B, the weight of an object that causes an extension of 80 millimeters. Okay, so the most fundamental principle is first of all, what does Hooke's law state? So we have to know the formula of Hooke's law. Okay, so this is the formula. So Hooke's law states that force is directly proportional to the extension x. Okay, now once we, we understand that, then now we can say that um, we can introduce the constant k, I mean, um, force is equal to kx, okay? And now this 4k is the constant force. Constant, and this is the stretching force, and that is a x. So this is the force, and this is a, the extension. So that is simply the formula for Hooke's uh, law. Okay. So now, once you understand that, then you have to deal with the units because extension is a distance, or rather, it is a length, and we're supposed to change that length in the standard uh, unit of length, which is just uh, a meter. Okay. So what are we supposed to do now? So we have been told that uh, this is eight. Uh, I mean ten. Okay. And this 10 is just uh, 10 millimeter multiplied by, and then we know that um, 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter. And multiplied by, we know that 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. Okay, so that's how we just convert the units. We know that um, 1 centimeter equals to uh, 10 millimeter. Okay, so from the centimeter we even go to the uh, meters because that is a standard unit of uh, uh, length or the extension. And then from there we also say that uh, one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. Now from there we can get the calculator and then simplify this thing. Okay, so we know that this is going to cancel and uh, I mean this is good. So this will also cancel and this centimeter, centimeter will cancel. Okay, then from there, this is going to be 10 meters divided by 10 by 100, just 100. And this will give us 0 0.01 meters. Okay, so the most important thing that you have to understand, more especially in physics, is that when the units are not in their standard form, you have the first thing to do is to change the units from that given unit into the standard unit of whatever quantity you're looking at, so that was a length. Okay, so now from there, what are we supposed to do? Now we can go on and find the uh, force uh, constant. Okay. So from there now, we are going to say um, F is equal to um, is equal to K X. Okay, so now we are looking for k, and this is going to be a k is equal to f divided by this. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to say um, f is equal to k x. And then now we have to make, um, I mean, k the subject of the formula. Okay. And this is just going to be. K 
is equal to f over x. Okay. Now, we know that f is equal to 2 newton and x. Okay. So, from there, we are going to say k equals to 2 divided by 0 0.01, which is just equal to 200 newton p. Okay. So now that's how you can just uh, simplify the first uh, question. So it's about knowing the formula and once you know the formula and also you understand the standard units of uh, these quantities. So that's how you can go about uh, finding or answering the first question, which is A. Now we are going to go to question B, which says now, which says, the weight of an object that causes an extension of 80 uh, millimeter. Okay, so we are kind of going to do the same over converting 80 uh, millimeter to just uh, meters as uh, the standard unit of length. Okay. So now we know that we know that um, 80 millimeter multiplied by we know that 10 uh, millimeter is equivalent to one centimeter, and then from centimeter now we take it to the meters, and we know that 100 centimeter is equivalent to one meter. So now once you do that you will now cancel this centimeter, centimeter cancels, and the ET, uh, I mean millimeter, millimeter cancels. Then you just remain with uh, the meters. So from there, we're going to have 80 uh, meters over a thousand, then this is going to give us 0 0.08 meters. So now, it is after now you find, you convert the unit of uh, a millimeter to the standard unit of length, which is just a meter. After that, now you can answer the question, okay? So the weight of an object that causes, so we are looking at the weight. So we know that this is the formula of Ox's law, and this is going to be, we are looking for the weight, okay? So the weight, So uh, the weight, where there is F, you can just say weight equals to Kx. And this is just going to be that the K was found to be, uh, the K was found to be 200 Newton per meter, okay, multiplied by the extension, which is this one, 0 0.08 meters, okay. Now, what is going to happen is that um, this cancels, this cancels, and this will just give us um, a 16. Okay, so that is the final answer. And that is how you can just uh, answer this question on a whole slow. So if you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe, and also share our videos so that uh, you can actually help you and you stay updated to our a post. So if you have subscribed and you subscribe, then it simply means that whatever video you're going to post on our channel, then you'll be notified. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.